Women are so wired differently. We probably will find so many things that are different about us. People who move are saying we are alive because only living things can move. I've got four new pairs of shoes all to myself. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be wearing for tomorrow. Well, one of them, at least a pair for tomorrow. And next few days, you're going to be seeing me in them because this is what I'm going for in the next three days. So I'm going to be packing them now and um, I'll see you in Thailand. No, it's, it, it's making me sad. It's making me sad. Wanna play one last game for the Monopoly before you go? Yeah, of course. I'm not good Finally boarding, guys. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. We request all passengers to occupy your assignments for the duration of the flight. If you are seated in an exit, I promise you that it'll be cool. Lately, been breaking my own heart, holding up, yeah, waiting for bed. I'm too weak, letting you know that the half of me is just for the show. Seven PM. Physical and mental benefits of exercise, and what's been found is there's a huge gender gap between men and women. now reaching the end of a very 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 long day hindi ako nakatulog and yet you know at like what 11 o'clock i'm still awake i'm also very emotional because this is the first night that i'm spending away from the kids i was crying on the plane i couldn't expect alam ko naman malungkot ako pero yung naiyak ako hindi ko makontrol ganun tuloy na tuloy yung luha ko Oh.
On our way to breakfast. Tapos na namin ang 5K. Oh, so here's the pool. Okay, sobrang whimsical ng place. Para talaga siyang Alice in Wonderland type. So I think we're about to get... Ooh, it's a picnic breakfast! So are we supposed to get one? Yes. Yep. Oh. But we will serve you at the table. Oh, so yeah, I'll so just you, go there. You can just sit. Okay, at, yeah, and then we'll take you. it to you. No problem. Wow, babe, and dami. Oh my god. Dami <laughs> hard. <laughs> 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 Just alone, muscular have 3,000 different genes in our body that men do. So if that doesn't tell you something about performing, then I don't know what it does. Um, of course, you know, women, you'll see men running faster, but then if you look at how a woman is made up, we're built to run longer. So muscle fibers are different, we metabolize food differently, we burn. Um, energy differently, we use fat, men use carbs more. So there's so, so many differences. And I think, you know, we often compare ourselves to a male in training or a male when we're competing, but really we are absolutely two completely different species and, you know, need to stop doing that. You have to take out your journals and to start writing down some of your thoughts also. Today. So, for example, I'm going to go pull in, nervous, because I'm hosting a big session today. Taya, I'm honored. Um, play, I feel a bit anxious now. Wind, mm -hmm. energized. Okay, I'm blessed. Okay, we're doing a treasure hunt with a with a team that is very relaxed. <laughs> not running at all. We're not even like trying to be competitive or something. Um, we're just walking and going with the flow. Maghanap kami ng hindi namin alam ko ni hinahanap namin siya ako ng gagawin ganon. Okay, so we're gonna do our challenge just now. Where's your team? Here. That is nowhere as hard as push-ups and planks. Oh yeah, oh oh. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. Mm. Oh, Manu. 
Yeah, I know, I know, baby. Yes. What? Good morning. This is day three. Today is dance workout, guys. I'm Jong Yoon Lim. For me, Jong. Simply, Jong. Yeah, Jong. Hi, Jong. Yeah, Jong. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Boom, cha. Two, three, four. Gita, 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 seven. Okay, okay. Yeah, one more, one more. So hey guys, I'm right outside of our bedroom and it's like a pretty long downtime. So this is actually a, an A6 women's retreat that is done in Khao Yai in Thailand. So this is like three hours away from Bangkok. Uh, major resort ish yung feel niya. Ganda, ganda nung place. Parang very restful. I came here not knowing exactly what to expect. Of course, you know, I mean, like, they nagpadala naman sila ng program and stuff. I guess you don't really understand that until you go through the thing. So, the schedule was when we got here, we had like a welcome dinner, it was an after party. Next morning, we woke up really, really early to run for five kilometers. Afternoon, nag ano kami, nag sound healing, tapas afternoon discussion. And the discussion revolved, and this is what I want to talk to you guys about, um, especially if you're a woman. If you're not a woman and you're watching this, this is also maybe applicable for you because women are so wired differently in so many ways. Physiologically speaking, we probably will find so many things that are different about us versus men, not versus in a bad way, but like just in comparison, our bodies are just really wired differently. This women's retreat by ASICS is actually focusing on the gender gap when it comes to fitness. One of the things that we did yesterday was to have this focus group na nag-uusap lang kami about ano ba yung positive effects of um, fitness on us. What has made it difficult for us to continue that or like um, to get into it. Another, you know, uh, question was what are the barriers for women, specifically for women, that we could think of, which makes us, you know, do more, like do more fitness or at least consistently have an active lifestyle. The discussion in the room was so rich, so I, contri I contributed some of my thoughts, pero yung thoughts din ng iba made me think of a lot of things pa. Like, one, culturally, women are defined a certain way. Uh, Yung culture na yan, nag-iiba-iba pa per nation. So, uh, there, there was like one discussion there na parang sinasabi nung katabi ko na her parents didn't really honor her being active as a kid or didn't honor her wish to travel. Because for them, you better be good at math, you better be good in science, like all the hard subjects like that. And you know, the whole PE thing, extracurricular lang yan. And I was like taken aback because I was like thinking, ganun tayo mga Pilipino, di ba? And this, this was an Asian. So parang, sabi ko, is it an Asian thing to think na pag nasa school ka, dapat magaling ka sa lahat ng main subjects, tapos sa PE, so-so lang. Parang, they don't really pay attention to it. And I, I was raising the question of our parents that way because our culture says that anything that is not income generating anyway to your life is not worth your time. And therefore, you know, things like PE, fitness, movement, eh, kung di ka naman magiging coach, di ka naman magiging athlete, ano ba yung pera mo dyan, di ba? So parang hindi tuloy siya nagagawang importante or nagiging value ng isang kultura because of some things, some mindsets that we've probably unwittingly um, followed all our lives. I also didn't expect that in that exercise, I would be able to map out, and I put it in my notes also, that 
I'd be able to map out my fitness history over the years when it comes to exercising or fitness. Kahapon, na parang bata pa lang ako, sobrang likot ko na. Sobrang active ko, sobrang gusto kong nasa playground, gusto kong nadudumihan. Ayaw ng nanay ko. Kasi, and most especially, so babae ako. Dapat yung mga babae hindi na susugatan, dapat yung mga babae na paprotektahan. Yung mga babae hindi nagagalusan, hindi nagkakaroon ng peklat, ba diba? Dapat maputi lang sila. And I'm not saying this to dishonor my mom or anything. She also is just, you know, following a certain mold or type that was passed on to her na, you know, women should be protected and they shouldn't be harmed. And it's coming from a good place. However, parang ang hindi na honor kasabay nun ay, oh, na honor yung, yung dignity mo, yung importance and value of life mo. Pero hindi naman na honor yung design mo, yung unique design. Eh, paano pala if you're someone who's made to be and designed to be adventurous, active, and not only that, kahit hindi ka active, to actually move is a very good thing to have as young as you there's no such thing as too young to start for this i mean like all of us must know that moving is a valuable thing for all the rest of our lives third thing was that how women are so different physiologically speaking how we are so at the mercy of hormones how stages in life ask so many things from us that are not asked of men. So like, let's say, when we're getting our period, lahat pala yan may effect sa atin. And apparently, so we had a book reading also yesterday, and this is the book. Guys, this is the book. And she's here. She's like the brand ambassador of ASICS, Natalie Dow. She talks about menstrual cycles here in this book and how it is so important to know your cycle to be able to optimally work on whatever you're working on when it comes to your body. So apparently there are times, I still have to read the book, there are times that are optimal for, for training. There are certain types of exercise says na bagay sa certain cycle mo dun sa, kung baga kung nasa ang part ka dun sa cycle mo in a month. And so, so that's one thing they were talking about like yung mga runners no na pag meron ka paano ka magrarun you know they run without pads and they just wear black and then they they let it drip i know that's a little bit tmi pero kaya ko yun sinasabi kasi when she started saying that it made me feel like oh my gosh this wouldn't have been talked about in any other sports event it would have been overlooked it would it's not that you know people don't like it but it's just like it's so specifically woman that it doesn't really apply to the general public, di ba? Tapos, ang nafe-feel natin, pag di natin nagagawa yung mga ibang bagay, due to our period, no? due to being a woman, ang feeling natin, eh kasi, mahina lang tayo. At nagiging kosya ng insecurity. When actually, there's so much more in there pala. It's not just a matter of hindi ka malakas. Physiologically speaking, your body in a, is in a certain state which actually does not allow you to optimally perform a lot of things. But anyway, napag-usapan namin yung effect sa katawan ng isang babae na nanganganak kami at kung ano-ano yung nangyayari dito. So, i-include mo na dyan, dyan. Kahapon ko lang din naisip ko na parang ano ba yung mga naging epekto ng pagbubuntis at panganganak sa akin to get pregnant, to be opened by cesarean, to expand here and have my abs go shwit na naghiwalay siya. When you're pregnant, your body's gonna change. And there is a way to heal it. Your abs are going to separate. And so when you give birth, we must work on putting it together. The core is indeed the center of everything. Like when I do my exercises, it has a lot to do with how strong my core is because it's holding me up. My posture, the way I use my feet, my legs are working and are held up just because of how strong my core is. That's how important the core is. And can you imagine that that's the very thing it affects when you're pregnant? When you give birth, your core is working really hard and is also battered in the process. So you really need the time to work on 
the healing side of things because there are many problems that come along with it. Diastasis recti, that's the separation of the abs. Another thing is urinary incontinence. That's something that happens to me until today. What is urinary incontinence? Sa iihi ka pag tumatalon ka, nag-workout ka, tumatawa ka. And when I jump, I will be very, very honest with you. I always pee. Like, I, because I do hardcore jumping, so I do a lot of double unders, so multiples, and you know, that requires a lot of force and impact that all of my liquid in my body just goes out that way. Okay, TMI, but deal with it. It really happens. My pants are wet when I, that's why I usually wear black because my pants are wet. And you know, for a time, it did stop me from training. Na parang, how do I solve this? Maybe I'm not for this. Because, you know, I keep peeing. And I started just wearing pads. Then, because I don't want to wear pants all the, pads all the time, dahil di naman siya healthy, I would just wear nothing and just wear black. Kebs ko sa inyo, maiihi ako dito. I'll just continue training. But it's something that cannot be talked about by men. Hindi nila ever ma-experience yun kasi hindi naman nangyayari sa kanila yun. These are things that create that barrier or gender gap when it comes to fitness. And the only reason for me sharing all of these things with you is to ask you guys, since you are thinking about fitness, you're wanting that change in your life, can I ask you to do something? Please do this for me. Map out your fitness history. How to do that? I'll give you a couple of questions. Number one, how are you when you were a kid? Were you really active? Did you like to move? Or were you really more like on the lazy side? Uh, did they see you and they did they tell you that you were too thin or too fat? What was your relationship with your body? Second question is, tell me something about your fist fitness history. What was your, what was your, did you ever have like a sort of exercise, a sport? Or an, are you an adventure type of person? And if so, what kind of adventure? And the last question is, what is your kind of fitness right now? In the here and now? Is there any type of activity that you're involved in? Like maybe yoga, pilates, zumba, dancing? And if not, what would you like to do? Where would you like to start? I guess if you, if you give it some time to answer all of the questions that I gave, you will realize so much about yourself. You know, I was asked this question earlier. What is movement for you? And I said, hmm, good question. I said, you know, movement is a sign that you are alive. People who move are saying we are alive. Because only living things can move. It can grow, it can develop, it can actually choose to not stay in the same place all the time for the rest of their lives. Living things do that. So we are alive, we can move. Why not take advantage of that fact? This is our last day. We actually get to go home. Yay! Tonight. Um, but it's been a, a fun retreat. So I'm with all of the women who participated and we're gonna take a group photo. And this is going to be three hours going to Bangkok where the flight will take off for Manila. Team Philippines, pauwi na kami today! Yay!
surprised me. You guys were hiding. <laughs>